I recently helped my husband find a decent job. But the experience I had as a result of this is rather difficult to describe, but I think I have to share it. I want to understand myself and maybe understand why exactly I found myself in such a situation. Only he and I know what happened on that rainy autumn evening when I accidentally agreed to go to his house after a short business meeting in a restaurant. No one, not even my husband, with whom we recently moved from my parents, I cannot tell about my secret, which, like a splinter, prevents me from remaining the same and living a full life. It all started when a small commercial company where my husband worked suddenly closed down due to the tragic death of its owner. Until then, everything had been fine. My wonderful husband was a valuable specialist. His work paid well. But after this unfortunate story, he was out of work. He was a top-notch professional, but his skills were not in high demand in our small town. He looked for a new job, but nothing worked out and that upset him. He became withdrawn and unhappy. One day, a colleague told me about a job opening in our company that was perfect for my husband, but the boss wanted someone from his inner circle. It was a very good job. I didn't know whether to be happy or sad it was our dream to work together, to see each other and be close. But I did not know how to convince the boss to change his decision and take my husband. I couldn't sleep for a long time that night, and in the morning, I decided to go to the boss and tell him everything. If he was an understanding person, maybe he would understand and help me. He was in a good mood after the morning meeting, and I thought it was a sign of good luck. I stayed in his office after everyone else had left and explained my problem. He listened carefully with an understanding smile but said he had a business meeting and suggested we meet later at a nearby restaurant to discuss the situation. I felt light and happy, elated, and arrived at the cozy restaurant the maitre d' smiled warmly, the waiter was very friendly, and I was sure that everything would be fine. The cook arrived without being late, he was a little hungry, we ordered a light dinner, and he suggested that I repeat what I had said in the morning. He finished his salad wiped his lips, looked at me seriously, and said he agreed to hire my husband. I was so happy, words can't describe how I felt. I wanted to hug him and thank him. We walked home on a familiar street my boss's house was a little closer to the office than mine. He suggested that we go to his house for coffee, and I agreed to go to his house, even though my apartment was literally two steps away. We walked into one of the rooms of his huge apartment and he put a bottle of tequila on the table and suggested that we drink to my husband's appointment. I agreed, trusting him, and we had a few drinks. Suddenly he came up behind me, put his hands on my hips, and pulled me against him. I felt a pleasant warmth from his body. I had neither the desire nor the strength to resist him. He took me in his arms and carried me into the bedroom. An hour and a half flew by like five minutes. I quickly dressed and ran home. My mind was confused. All the feelings were mixed. I liked what had happened and on the other hand, I hated myself for it and did not understand how I would look in my husband's eyes. When I came home late, when my darling was already asleep, I sobbed under the shower and thought about how I had achieved a place for my husband and what would happen if he found out about our connection. Time passed, I became lighter, my husband works with me, we are all fine. About once a month, I take a little vacation and visit my boss. After these events, I reconsidered my views and decided that life is one and I should not limit myself.